I just landed in this. Oh my god. Oh my god, boys. Oh sh. Yo, it's bad. Oh my god. What's going on, everybody? My name is Brock. I am one of Ian's co workers. This is actually my first year banner towing, and I just. He wanted me to come on here today and show y'all my side of everything and I'll give you a background about me once I get up in the air. But for right now, I just wanted to show you what I'll be flying for the day and basically the entire season. So I'm uh, in the Cessna 172. It's not as fun as the Cubs, but it's still pretty fun. So I got two billboards in here now. I'm basically operating as a banner tow pilot and a cargo pilot today. So I wanted to show you my little setup in here. It's just a basic six pack, not much. And then my tow releases are right here. So I've got my one tow. I've got one tow up to Lakewood today, so I'll be going up north. And so I'm just using the middle one because it's just the easiest. Uh, it's my ox fuel. All right, so I want I showed you what the uh, tow releases look like from the inside, so I just wanted to show you kind of the outside like hook setup. So right here, I've got my hook, and it's hooked onto the middle back there. So I've got it on the middle hole right here. It just makes it easier to remember when you have multiple toes. I uh, just <coughs> open the window and uh, grab it when I take off, and then it's gonna be connected to the middle hook up back here. Clear. Hey, ground is Brock. Looking for Allied Beverage. Middle right blue for blue coat. Middle right blue, thanks. With my traffic right away, Cessna is departing one man. Stay in the pattern for banner takeoff all the way. Alright guys, so a little bit about me. I'm from North Georgia. Uh, I got into flying in 2016. I got my private. 2017 I got my instrument in 2019 and then I got multi and commercial in 2020. I did multi, or I did commercial and then I did multi. I've always been around aviation. It's always been in my family. My, my dad's a, uh, he's a pilot for FedEx on the MD-11 and then he flew the A-10s in the Gulf War. My grandfather, he he was a pilot uh, in the Air Force as well, and he flew for Gulf Oil. And my older brother, he's at PSA right now. So working as a banner pilot, it has really like uh, almost tripled my, or no, I wouldn't say tripled it, but it's, it's gotten me a lot of hours. So if any of you out there are actually looking to get into banner towing, uh, I can kind of give you like the insight of what I went through, uh, what to expect your first year towing. I started, so it all started, I was, I got my commercial, multi, all that good stuff, uh, graduated college, 
and then I started sending out my resumes. Uh, I probably sent 50 plus out, uh, including this place. Uh, not just the banner so there's like Part 135, Part 91K. Uh, uh, skydiving, like, you know, it's all like the low time, 500 plus hour stuff. Um, and then I got a call back from this company for uh, a position for the Cessna for banner sewing. So uh, we did the interview and everything and then I ended up getting the job. But you just really got to be patient because it, it didn't happen until like probably four or five months later. Uh, so yeah, just be patient, put your name out there, send your resumes out. Don't be scared to send multiple resumes to the same company because the one that they can say is no, you know. Uh, and if they see you sending out your resume over and over again, maybe like once a week or something, then they're going to may hopefully think that uh, you got motivation and that you really want to be there. Uh, so what to expect the first year of towing? You can expect... I should say the first month of it, it was it was very hectic. It was a lot to learn, uh, learning all the ground stuff, learning all the flights, the routes. It's hectic, but it's so it's a lot of fun. You're learning a lot of new things. You're staying busy. It's a, it's just really good time overall. Uh, you get to meet and hang out with a lot of cool people. Some tips, I would say to get your tail wheel endorsement. Uh, if you don't have it already, get your tail wheel, get your tail wheel endorsement before you uh, send out resumes to banner tow companies, and try to get it like, try to get at least 15 hours in a tail wheel if you can, because that uh, it just it helps them with their insurance. And I believe most companies require like 25 hours of tail wheel, or don't require, but it's for their insurance. Uh, but you'll probably get five to ten extra hours of it uh, during your training. Hey, I'm up. Just continue north. All right, continue north. All right, well, there's the call to continue north. Did you say discontinue or continue? Continue, keep going. See right here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's Lakewood, and there's all the weather moving in. So we'll see what happens. Keep you guys updated. Lakewood traffic right on White Cessna is two to the south east. Uh, gonna enter a left downwind for banner top parallel two four liquid. Uh, so it's like it's really strong aloft, uh, left to right. So fly almost like to the left of the runway I was doing, and then um, it's calm on the ground. So once you get low enough, you can start working your way back towards the trees to get the hook over the grass too. So uh, what's it like being a banner tower? How's the weather? It's a little wet. <laughs> they, were, they were closing in, and Watney very badly in the middle. <laughs> And, I, and then I could see the airport, I'm like, full power, <laughs> rod at 60 knots. Yeah, we, uh... And then there's just a fog moving in, the rain. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't see anything. Yeah, we, uh, we screwed it to the, the west side of them, Mark and I. Yeah. And the cell that was over Lakewood was, like, just barely north. And I could see the airport. I was about three miles to the west. I was like, all right, I'm like broadcasting over the radio. I'm like, all right, I can see Lakewood, it looks pretty good. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for it. And right in the middle of my broadcast, like a quarter mile off my nose at 11 o'clock, just like, <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe not. Yeah. I'll give it a little more, uh, I'll give it a little more time to blow fast. That's how it was the entire, so you had two storms, the clear, but there's a lot of all in between. Yep. Yep. And I was just like, I'm trapped in here, but I'm going straight through it. Yeah. All right, so the weather just cleared up. Um, about to pick my next banner. Taking this one down south, and I'll see you in there.
I'm off your, uh, like, left back of your banner. Oh, okay. So Ian and I, we're just faring back right now. Uh, we got Bryce and Mark right behind us. We're uh, all going southbound right now. Uh, we're about an hour and a half into this flight, and we're, we're about halfway there. Where are you at, Ian? I'm turning base. All right, let's taxi back to uh, Bravo. All right, yeah, you're good. Alright guys, that was it. That was my day in life as a banner tower. Uh, tired, hungry, dehydrated. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe for Ian. He's a great dude, man. Alright, see ya!